Hey folks, it's Shane Getson here, the MLA for Lexi and, and Parkland. I'm here with uh, Tyler Gash and Councillor, uh, Councillor, yes, yeah, Councillor, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Steve Hoyda here from Darwell. We're literally at the Darwell Ag Society. I'm looking at the Cow Palace. Now, folks, I'm not sure if you appreciate how much ag societies give back to our communities. This little place of Darwell, what's the population of Darwell, Tyler, roughly? Uh, I think it's 14. About 14? In the Hamlet. 14 people in Hamlet. And Steve, how many people come here during Barn Burner? <laughs> I would assume close to four or five thousand people. Yeah. Yeah, just for the barn burner. Yeah. Bar well, barn burner is about 2,800. About is, is our, yeah. you know, our yeah. plus volunteers and stuff. Plus, yeah. So 2,800 people, it's a really known, a really great known event, or maybe it's a best kept secret, I'm not sure, but we've got, you had the ag poles or the drag races there that were taking place, the tractors, tractor poles, you had the country music festival taking place and you know the first time I came and I hate to admit it was only last year and this place was packed there was people from all over the place you know the city and everything else coming out here yep. having one heck of a good time and then all the other events that you have here so you know in the background you've got the the ball diamonds there we got a, a nice skating rink you got another hall off to the side here um, obviously the folks using the horse arena here as well and you got all the grandstands like this is just a fantastic little jewel sitting out here in a nice sleepy little place of 14 people that can take up to 3,000, 4,000, maybe even more people. Yeah, exactly. So really happy to announce that part of our economic relaunch, we, we realize how important ag societies are. And we managed to find, uh, thanks Minister Dreeshen, let's plug out to Devon, uh, $20,412.44. We couldn't even, we even got you 44 cents there, Tyler. So hopefully <laughs> you put it to good use. Yeah, but thank, thank you, you so you. much for everything you guys do. Well, and thank you guys uh, for helping. Oh, well, I really appreciate it. And Steve, again, such a great advocate for Darwell. We were talking about other couple other projects here too. We managed to find uh, $27,000, 590. So maybe if you put a couple books in that one shed, we'll get you some more cash. Yeah, maybe. But uh, $27,590 for the Darwell Public Library. And again, if folks don't realize the importance of these things in small town rural, um, they're, they're vital. You know, the library doesn't just offer books, it offers the videos, it offers the service, and the way they're tied in. If you wanted to order a book from the University of Alberta, you could actually get it through the Little Darwell Public Library. And if you're part of that library network, you can drop it off in any one of those locations. So it's really an order of magnitude. So well done for the work. Um, did you want to say anything about your area while we're here, Steve? I, I just think, personally, I think there's an amazing bunch of communities within the uh, Darwell area. We have s massive, community, different subdivisions that support Darwa. And I think we've got to just continue on feeding uh, their needs. And with the help of the provincial government and our municipality, we plan to continue on doing so. Thank you, sir. And uh, there is a definite rural advantage. And Tyler, any closing words from your side? No, we, but we thank you guys and like say our, our local constituencies and Black St. Anne County and everybody for sticking with us and helping us out with you know just the little things and the money to keep going every year because everybody wants to keep uh, keep coming out and having fun and enjoying it so oh, perfect and everybody knows out there i keep calling this god's country so come on out to darwell take a trip in the car bring the kids the little restaurant there in town is fantastic grab a book if you want read come down to one of these events you will not regret it talk to you next time